a very good morning to everyone today we have a demo on the femoral triangle it is a triangular area or the fossa which is present on the upper one third of anterior compartment of the thigh so let's know the boundaries and content of the femoral triangle so this is known as the lateral boundaries of femoral triangle while well, this is known as the medial boundaries this is known as the base part while well, this meeting point is known as the apex part let's know in detail this is known as the sartorius muscle so lateral it is bounded with the help of the medial border of the sartorius and this muscle is known as adductor longus so medial it is bounded with the help of medial border of adductor longus because lateral border of adductor longus is forming floor of femoral triangle this triangle you can see this is known as femoral triangle or boundaries of femoral triangle same how we have the base part which is formed by the inguinal ligament here now let's repeat it laterally by the medial border of sartorius medially by the medial border of adductor longus and base is formed by the inguinal ligament and the apex part so this apex part is formed by the meeting point of the medial border and the lateral border of a femoral triangle now we have to know the the floor this is an adductor longus the pectineus muscles so this is known as pectineus muscle now third muscles which is forming the floor that is known as the tendons of psoas major you can see this bulk muscles this one this is known as the psoas major so tendon of psoas major will be forming a floor this is known as iliacus right so this all four muscles forms the floor of femoral triangle now we have to know the contents of the femoral triangle let's know the content so you can see this one this neurovascular bundles now from the lateral side to medial side this is known as femoral knob and this femoral knob is outside of the femoral sheath now it is having root value l2 l3 and the l4 it is having two division anterior division and the posterior division so anterior division gives two cutaneous branches that is known as medial and the intermediate femoral cutaneous branch and gives one muscular branch that is to the sartorius now the posterior division gives one cutaneous branch that is known as saphenous nerve and supply all the remaining muscles of anterior compartment of thigh that is vastus medialis the vastus lateralis rectus femoris and the articularis genu now let's know about and vastus intermedius now let's know about the femoral artery so this is known as the femoral artery and it is a content of the femoral sheath that is known as lateral most content of femoral sheath it is a continuation of external iliac artery then it passes through the femoral triangle and again from the adductor canal and continues as the popliteal artery after passing through the adductor hiatus now this femoral artery is having three superficial branch and the three deep branch the three superficial branches that goes towards the anterior superiliac spine that is known as superficial the circumflex iliac artery superficial epigastric artery superficial external pudendal artery the deep branches are deep external pudendal artery this artery is known as profunda femoris and we have this small small muscular branches you can see this is known as muscular artery and this is known as the femoral vein which is also a component of the femoral sheath so this is all about the femoral triangle and its boundaries and the content you have to know about the femoral hernia in detail thank you